Hi friends. It is Saturday. What time is it? 12.42. I'm on my way back to Old Navy to see if they have a size large in that Christmas tree shirt that I bought yesterday. I went home and I looked at my other thermal shirts that I got from Old Navy and they are larges. So I'm going to go back. They had larges in it yesterday so I hope they have them still today. So we are off to Old Navy and we'll probably hit the target since we're there in the neighborhood. Okay, I got my shirt exchanged. They were giving me hassle because it wasn't on sale. And I'm like, it was on sale yesterday. I just bought it yesterday. And I'm doing a straight exchange. It's just the same shirt, different size same print and everything and she's like no we can't do it we can't do it it's it's not on sale and so she called her manager and they were over the phone and she's like i'm gonna override it for you today because you're right i don't understand why it's not working and i said thank you so much and I, you know, and I was starting to get hot and sweaty because I was getting nervous, like, oh crap. So I come outside and I notice there's a bolt in my tire. And I just got new tires put on, brand new tires put on last week. And I have a bolt. So I need to go get that taken out. Okay, we're here at the Discount Tires. We're right next to Panda Express. And I have no clue where to park to get my tires done. So, it's a four, it's a three to four hour wait. I was like, really? For reals? So they said, you can, sit and wait for three or four hours if you want. I was like, no. I said, I live pretty close to here, so I'll just call. They close at five. I'll call back and I'll see how far along they are because they're like 16 cars in front of me. And um, otherwise, maybe I'll just come on Monday when it's not so busy. Hopefully my tire won't be flat. I don't think it's flat. It's, my tire light's not on. It looks full. It feels firm. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go home now, grab the other car because I'm fully dressed, and then we're going to take it on down to Target Town. Mom, I didn't buy anything. It was just to get my exercise, I guess. Hey 
guys, so we're gonna be going to dinner tonight in about 50 minutes and I wanted to do a really quick craft that I've been seeing all over YouTube and all over Facebook and it's probably all over TikTok, but I don't have TikTok. But it's the paper sack snowflakes and I've seen them done with three and I've seen them done using eight and the, the ones that used eight came out really, really big, I think. Um, and then I've seen some, they used white paper sacks that were kind of different and so they made a different type of star. But I figure if I can do it, anybody can do it. So these are just plain old sacks I've had forever. If I would have remembered when I was at Target, I would have tried to find some white ones, but these brown ones are just as cute. And on the videos, they show them gluing them together, but then you're stuck like that. You can't pull them apart and put them away if you wanted to save them. So I figured you could just paper clip them together. So that's what I might do. I might do one glued and one paper clipped, but we'll see. So you just need a glue gun and scissors and sacks. So I have three sacks here and you keep the flap side up, I've noticed. So they just went like this. And then they cut this top part into like a roof type of thing or a triangle. Okay, so you've got it like that. And then some cut two triangles here, and some just cut one. But we'll just try one for now. And that's it. And so then you, I guess you take it from the top. Well, for heaven's sakes, that didn't work out very well. I've seen it done with three. It's supposed to go all the way around. It looks cool like that, like a turkey. <laughs> I guess that's why you need to use eight, but I've seen it done with three. So you probably need eight. So we can always do some more and then glue it on.
now I'm going to glue these two halves together. This is exactly how they do it. Now let's see. That is so cute. Oh, that is so cool. And then you just glue this all together. Or like I said, you could totally paper clip it and then you can unfold them and save them for another time. So you just kind of have to hurry before your glue melts. So this is a lot harder than it looks but it's cute. I'm just holding it for a minute. Oh, that is awesome. And there's the other side. Now that I know what I'm doing, these are super easy. So this is our craft, everybody. <laughs> this was super fun. And even if you make a mistake like I did, you can still just add to it and make it work out. And then the ones that have more cut along the sides, they have more intricate designs. So I can't wait to make more of these. They are way cute. And my walls are kind of brown, so these will kind of match my house. <laughs> fun, fun. We're gonna go to Sylvester's tonight for dinner. They're gonna pick us up any minute now. We haven't been to Sylvester's for like three months. They have, but our friends have been, but we haven't been for about three months. I think August was the last time we were there. Can't wait. Queso, man. <gasps> mm. Yeah, queso is very good. Yeah, it comes with like Woo! the sour cream and the. Well, you can get it with that one. It's cheaper. Hey guys, we are back from dinner. It was so good. Daryl and I shared a cheese enchilada plate. So he, it came with two. So I had one. Well, I had half of one and he had one. And then we shared the rice and beans. And then we had chips and queso. And then our friends had this big not nachos platter. So I had a few of their nachos too. And we are all just sick. And I'm laying here with my baby. Look, she matches my shirt. Thing is, I have to wake her up now because I have to go on the treadmill and I want to go down there for an hour. So that's about three miles, and I don't want to wake her up, but 
after tonight's dinner, I have to. And then tomorrow I'm making tater tot casserole for our friends that we went out to dinner tonight with because they're remodeling their house and their whole kitchen's completely torn out. They have no, I don't even think they have a sink. They have their cabinets put in, but they don't have anything. And so I'm going to make tater tot casserole and take them some. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. But anyway, I've got to get, I've got to walk some of this Mexican food off. Oh, I just don't want to wake up my baby. Okay. Oh, mommy has to get up. I'm so sorry. Don't be mad. Mm. Okay. Here we are again. Oh, yeah. Mm. Hold on here. Okay. Just to give you an idea of what I do, I like to watch this. Her name is Jen Chapin. And she is an amazing cook. I'm not sure if she has her own cookbook out or not, but she is, I believe, a nurse. And she has two or three kids. She works full-time. She cooks full-time. She does YouTube full-time. She's awesome. And I'm going to watch her yearly famous Thanksgiving um dinner prep and she's just so interesting to watch and she helps the time fly by so that is who I am going to watch for an hour so down here I'm gonna hook myself up and off we go see you in an hour well dang it I accidentally unplugged the key before I could show you the stats. Ugh. But I did 3.1 miles and I didn't even look at the calories or the carbs. I just looked at the miles. <laughs> but that was a nice walk and watching Jen Chapin um, cook for Thanksgiving was awesome. So, Also, if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe to Jen. She is so amazing. I love all of her videos and they just make the time go by so fast while I'm doing the treadmill. And she has no idea who I am. But if you do subscribe, tell her Tracy B TV sent ya. In case you haven't noticed, I did change my name to Tracy B TV just to give it a little pizzazz.